Welcome back to the channel guys, Crypto Lightsaber back again with another video and we're going to do an update on Cardano. Um, some of you guys might have seen my previous video where I talked about uh, a warning about the Cardano mainnet dump that I could see coming. Alright guys, but just before we get into that, um, some of you may have seen my video on the BSC pad, okay, and that is basically the launch pad for Binance Smart Chain projects that launched on pancake swap okay um yeah a lot of people got in on the idea on this not me i didn't okay but they will be sitting a lot prettier than 100x um, there's definitely been some major upside in this project at the time that i gave you the video it was around one dollar one dollar and ten cents or something like that so if you did get on in on this you would have made approximately like 200 percent gains or right, i made some really good gains on this i'm not in it at the moment okay i did take profit around four dollars okay and that being said i actually did um kind of get in and get out because i was protecting my capital because i had a lot of money riding on this but for those of you that held and just made those gains all the way to you know this its recent peak around three dollars and 95 cents congratulations all right guys but don't fall in love with these projects all right don't fall in love all right guys because you know we've seen a lot of these projects they go up and they come down but if it's a long-term investment obviously you're going to make some good money potentially because they have a lot of promise coming they haven't even launched their first idea yet but they have uh, announced it okay and that will be the bsc view it's like dex tools but for the binance smart chain in simple terms in order to get in on that you need to hold a minimum of a thousand uh, BSC pad tokens and I think the top tier at the moment is the gold tier at 10,000 BSC tokens or BSC pad tokens and that will enable you to get a bigger stake in the BSC view IDO. So bear that in mind. All right guys, this is not a BSC pad video. Like I said, I wanted to do an update on ADA. A lot of you are still hyped about this. Now one thing we can't ignore is the volume. You can see that really nice volume that's been building up over these past few days and weeks and i reckon that uh, this could have another leg up and um, it surprised me that it hasn't done a very major dump at least down to the 25 day moving average so for me this is showing some clear signs of strength and this is the btc chart by the way okay you can see we have this massive head and shoulders you can see the left shoulder head and the right shoulder and obviously that has broken out so it was kind of clear that we we're going to have uh, this target if we get a line Let's draw a line and see whether that target matches up. If we go from the head to the neckline, it is actually a you know a, a descending kind of uh, pattern, really. But if we just say that was the neckline and we bring that from the breakout level, okay, you wouldn't have been far off if you thought that that would have been the actual breakout. But if you did bring it to this level, I think it more or less lines up. With the target level okay so clear to see that was a breakout of a head and shoulders pattern but what do i think now i actually think there could be some more upside for cardano okay and uh, like i said it's showing them signs of strength it's got that volume and there's still quite a bit of way for it to go even to get to this next level of resistance which i wouldn't be surprised if it did reach there and if it did reach that level you would be looking at percentage gains of approximately 70% from here and obviously if we did break that level and went to previous highs we're looking at a percentage gains of approximately approximately another 200 to 300 uh, percent and that's before it even breaks its previous all-time high all right guys so that has to be considered it is still bullish I mean I think it is still bullish but obviously I do still think that there could be a little bit more downside even to this uh, previous area of support right here which looks like it could turn out to be but obviously the most clearest level of support is this line right here that i've already got drawn and i'll change that to red just so you can see that all right guys that would be the major line that we really don't want to go below in my opinion right and obviously ultimately we don't want to go below this level right here and of course bearing in mind we are on the btc chart okay but your buy zone is going to be anywhere between this level okay it might still be a good uh, a good buy zone down here if the bulls can come in so matter of fact let's just uh let's just uh see what would happen if we did have a long position from here okay let's move that let's say that our buy zone is around this area okay 
this will be your buy zone in the red okay and your target would be your first target would be over here okay guys so that's what i'm looking at for cardano okay um it does really look good um on the usd chart it's still holding approximately around between you know one dollar twenty and one dollar thirty level all right guys but yeah it does look like it could get a little bit more downside side over this next couple of days all right it'll be interesting to see um this did start pumping again on friday so over the next couple of days, we'll see whether this can, you know, this may just be a, a small bearish week for Cardano before continued upside moving in to the next week. All right, guys, keep your eye on it. All right, um, act cautiously, of course. The Mary Main Net did launch, all right, guys, and, um, you know, it seems to be holding up pretty strong. So for me, I can't, you know, I could say that I was wrong, um, but I'm actually not because we are still seeing... Uh, a, a, a pullback and of course i did get out and um, i was right to do so in the meantime we'll be making gains on coins like bsc pad we've been going where the money is all right guys but you know i'm looking at this area for a potential buy zone okay anywhere down here on this line would be safe you would scale in probably put one position there if it falls a little bit further you'll put a position in in this range if it falls below this level right here that for me would be a sign to say, you know what, I think we need to kind of forget about Cardano for a hot minute, focus on something else and come back later and see exactly how this is holding up. All right, guys. So that's my update on Cardano. Sorry, Cardano. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Do me a favor, like and subscribe to the channel. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about this analysis. Let me know what you think about Cardano as a whole. What are your price targets for Cardano? Okay, do you think it could break the all time high this year? I do believe that's possible, especially if Bitcoin continues running and we get that massive alt season, uh, what we've all been waiting for for several years now. Okay, I believe that it's definitely possible for Cardano to position itself. It's actually in the number three position on coin market cap at the moment. Okay, can it overtake Ethereum at number two? <sighs> it's a long shot. But, uh, you know, this is crypto and who knows with those high gas fees, who knows what could happen. All right, guys. But yeah, like I said, like and subscribe to the channel. Um, comment down below. Also, make sure you tick the little bell so that you can get these videos as soon as they come out. And I will see you in the next video.